Let's start the day off uh, with this question. Um, give the number of valence electrons for the following elements and draw their Lewis dot structures. Okay, so um, essentially the periodic table is your cheat sheet for this one. Uh, just look up at the periodic table and I'll tell you how many valence electrons you got. So um, remember uh, the group number tells you uh, how many valence electrons you have. So um, hydrogen is in group one, so it's got one valence electron, so we'll put electron. Uh, selenium is in group 16. So um, count. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? So 6 valence electrons. Barium is in group 2 all the way down. Do you see it? One of the bigger atoms in group 2. So it's got how many 2 valence electrons? Right? Arsenic is in group 15, right? So way over here in the P block. So count them up. So one, two, three, four, five valence electrons, right? Okay, so hopefully you can see the trend now that we're doing these types of things um, over and over and over. So iodine is in the halogens or group 17. So how many do they have? Seven, right? So what are we doing? We're skipping over those transition metal D block electrons. Why? Because they're kind of, once you fill them up, they're inner electrons. So, um, and then neon gases. Uh, neon is one of the noble gases, so it's got a full octet of eight electrons. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw the Lewis dot symbols of these. So all you got to do is know the number of valence electrons these um, elements have, and then you go about um, just putting dots around each of the sides of the um, elemental symbols. So hydrogen's got one um, valence electron, so you start there, put a one, a one dot. Okay. Selenium, six, so you just go around one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's got um, two valence electrons or two orbitals that are unfilled. So it can make two bonds, essentially, is what we're going to get out. Uh, barium has got two valence electrons. So one, two. Like that. And again, you may see these written like this. It's fine if you write it either way. I just think it helps to be standardized. Okay, so two. Arsenic's got five. So start here. One, two, three, four, five. And what you'll see is, um, since it's got three spaces where you can fit electrons, um, when it makes a molecule, it'll um, be able to add three electrons to it. Some of these bigger atoms, like arsenic, iodine, can actually add more electrons. Uh, they'll expand their valence uh, due to their uh, d electrons. But we'll talk about that, uh, the d orbitals, we'll talk about that later. Um, Iodine is a valence or is a valence electron. It's a halogen. It needs only one valence electron, remember, to um, become uh, the noble gas configuration. So um, it'll have a total of seven. Whoops. Not doing convention. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we add that one, then it'll be I minus. So this is just another way to represent like the um, electron configuration, like the um, K 
condensed electron configuration, essentially. And neon's got its full octet, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. okay. So hopefully um, that's a pretty good survey of uh, the different groups on the periodic table. Um, hopefully you could do any of these um, elements now after this video.